NASA's latest discovery has left scientists shocked and anxious to get their hands on it. What is this discovery, you may be wondering? Well, it's none other than 16 Psyche, one of the rarest asteroids in the solar system that was found by NASA's Hubble Space Telescope in the main belt between Mars and Jupiter, valued at $10,000 quadrillion. And now, NASA is ready to explore this rare metal asteroid with its namesake spacecraft. What they're about to find might just change the world's economy. How would that happen? Isn't 16 Psyche just a planet's exposed core, or is it just a heap of metal-rich slag? A weird world with metal-gurgling volcanoes as remnants, or something bright like a massive rare sparkly meteorite class? Let's find out. This enigmatic asteroid, which lies in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, has only ever been seen from afar since it was discovered. The celestial Psyche appears as a hazy fog when viewed through telescopes on the ground. Furthermore, it has a potato-like form based on radar data. Despite its look, experts believe that Psyche is made up of a variety of extremely rare metals. Alternatively, it could have been the nucleus of an extinct rocky planet. Asteroid Psyche is about the size of West Virginia and is located about 230 million miles, that's 370 million kilometers, from Earth. It is 140 miles or 226 kilometers across. What sets it apart from other asteroids is that Psyche is virtually entirely composed of metals like Earth's core. We've seen largely metal meteorites before, but Psyche could be unusual because it's an asteroid consisting entirely of iron and nickel. The metal composition of the asteroid, given its size, might well be worth $10,000 quadrillion. Researchers estimated that Psyche's surface could be mainly iron, based on the ultraviolet spectrum data acquired by the Hubble Space Telescope's Space Telescope Imaging Spectrograph during two observations in 2017. However, they realized that even a modest amount of iron, as little as 10%, might dominate UV measurements. NASA is prepared to launch its Psyche mission this year from the Kennedy Space Center to learn more about what it is made of, where it originated from, and what mysteries it contains about the formation of our solar system. SpaceX's Falcon Heavy rocket is scheduled to launch with NASA's Psyche spacecraft in August. The Psyche spacecraft arrived at the Kennedy Space Center last Monday after a three-month journey from California. More than a ton of xenon gas will be put into the Psyche spacecraft at Kennedy Space Center. It will be encapsulated inside SpaceX payload fairing and rolled out to Pad 39A for assembly with a Falcon Heavy launcher. For the spacecraft's electric propulsion system, the Xenon will power four high-efficiency electric thrusters to direct it from Earth to its asteroid destination. The launch window for the Psyche spacecraft opens on August 1 at 2.26 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time EDT, with liftoff from Pad 39A scheduled for that date, 18.26 GMT. SpaceX's powerful triple-core Falcon Heavy rocket will make its NASA debut during this launch. To reach its final goal, our metal-rich asteroid the size of Massachusetts, the spacecraft will launch in 2022 and traverse one and a half billion miles, that's 2.4 billion kilometers. The vehicle will employ solar electric propulsion once it's in orbit. The spacecraft's thrusters will be powered by large solar panels that turn sunlight into electricity. After passing by Mars in 2023, Psyche will be slingshotted towards the asteroid belt by the planet's gravity. Psyche's final approach to the asteroid will take place in late 2025, after more than three years of travel. The cameras of the mission team will be turned on as the spaceship approaches. Thanks to this, they will now be able to get a clear picture of the mysterious object. Once in Psyche's orbit, the spacecraft will remain there for about two years to study the metallic asteroid. After months of testing at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California, the Psyche spacecraft has been delivered to the Florida launch base. 
The probe was put through a series of tests in which it was exposed to the freezing temperatures and the vacuum of deep space to ensure that it can withstand the shaking, acoustics and shock forces it would experience upon launch. The spacecraft was transported from JPL to March Air Reserve Base in Riverside, California. A military flight crew loaded it onto a C-17 transport plane for the cross-country trip to Florida. Once the tests were complete, engineers sealed it in a shipping container and drove it there. Kennedy Space Center's payload hazardous servicing facility was the next stop for Syke after its landing Friday afternoon. Engineers had already removed the spacecraft from its shipping crate earlier this week. If we don't have the superhuman technology to dig 3,100 miles and sustain the temperatures of 9,000 degrees Fahrenheit and pressures 3 million times greater than the atmosphere, we won't be able to gain a direct peak at the Earth's core. On the other hand, Psyche provides an opportunity to peer into the core of a planet and learn about the early solar system and the origins of magnetic fields like the one that shields Earth from cosmic radiation and may have allowed sophisticated life to form. The expedition is one of pure exploration because the target asteroid is so strange and foreign. Scientists on the Moon have no idea what they'll find when they arrive, so they must prepare for anything. The team's primary theory is that the asteroid represents the once molten metallic core of a long-destroyed planetary body. Nobody knows what it looks like, if fragments of mantle still cling to it, whether it will appear uniquely metal, a hunk of iron in space, or, or whether it'll look like any other asteroid in the solar system. It's also unlike anything we've ever seen. A metal-dominated world may have originated close to the Sun and made its way to the asteroid belt. Because they're gone, we don't know what they look like. They've been absorbed into the terrestrial planets by the Sun's gravity. Regardless of whether or not our hypothesis is correct, we still have learned something new and interesting. Asteroids may make us wealthy through space mining or drive us extinct like dinosaurs, but they are possibly the most deserving of investigation because they contain the mysteries of our solar system's past. Earth's oldest rocks have been melted and mashed up so many times that traces of its 4.5 billion year history are extremely rare. Visiting an asteroid could be like seeing into our planet's newborn photographs if our world had lost its recollection of its youth. The asteroid Sykes mystique stretches far beyond the solar system's catastrophic history. Impact events and collisions with other objects, such as a meteorite slamming into Earth, have been studied by planetary scientists for as long as they've been studying the planets themselves. A planet's surface age can be determined largely by studying impact events. However, impact modeling has traditionally used rocky bodies and, more recently, frozen ones. How would a metal body respond to a slashed knuckle? It's impossible to say for sure, since models don't have enough information on metallic items to produce accurate conclusions. Planetary scientists analyze human-made metal alloys and metal meteorites that have landed on Earth, but studying the surface of Psyche will provide an unprecedented view of a large-scale metal impact. As Psyche is a fundamentally alien object, it provides new terms to the planetary science lexicon during its investigation. Volcanoes are a common sight on our third planet from the Sun and on Mars. Cryovolcanoes, also known as ice volcanoes, are found on dwarf planets Ceres, frigid outer solar system worlds, and possibly Pluto. However, it's possible that Psyche once possessed ferrovolcanoes. There is a theory that Psyche may have preserved some of its heat after its crust and mantle were ripped off by an impact event. Volcanism is a method by which planets dissipate their heat. Silicate volcanism is the term used to describe it on Earth. Volcanic activity on Jupiter's moon, Io, includes sulfur-rich silicate volcanism. There is a possibility that we're looking at a region on Psyche where molten iron or iron and nickel and sulfur predominate. Metals melt at various temperatures and pockets of molten liquid from Sykes' subsurface may have exploded onto the surface long ago. Perhaps there will be evidence to support this. There is a chance that there will be none. 
However, making wild guesses is a lot of fun and whatever is found would be worth it. All the information gathered at the asteroid can be applied to other planets in the solar system, including Earth, if the researchers can demonstrate that Psyche is a planetary core. The spacecraft will make chemical and magnetic measurements of the asteroid with a magnetometer, a gamma ray and neutron spectrometer in order to assess its composition and whether it is, in fact, a planetary core. The asteroid has no atmosphere and it is unknown whether it possesses a magnetic field. However, it is certainly subjected to the space radiation environment. If we go to Psyche, we're either going to see something really unlikely and one of a kind, or something utterly astounding. If it turns out to be a metal core, it will belong to our solar system's very first generation of early cores. But we don't know for sure, and we won't know for sure until we arrive. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.